International Women Conference, women who are ready to make change in their society. Put your hands together for yourselves. Tonight, you're hearing the voices of Zila Ineme and... My name is Blessing Oti, and we are super excited to be sharing uh, this moment with you. Like you know, today is the second day of the International Changemaker Global Women Conference. Can we put our hands together for ourselves? All right, we want to welcome you especially to the day two of this great program. Yesterday was amazing. It was really refreshing. And I'm sure that we are ready. You are energized. You are motivated to be part of the second day. Are we all energized and motivated to be part of the second day? If you are, can you just make some noise? All right, quickly, before we get on, can we just take a bit of the review of what happened uh, yesterday? Yesterday, we had amazing speakers that came through on this podium to talk to us, driving positive change in our lives, in our families, and of course, in our community and the society at large. I know we achieved and we recorded some gains yesterday. And part of what we recorded, we, had, we talked about the changing roles of women in the changing world. And of course, Anne Kubrick was on the ground telling us our stories, sharing ideas, insights, strategies, you know, when we talk about the changing roles of women, bearing in mind that women plays a very critical role in nation building. And that's not all. We also heard from a barrister, Ibiwari, Captain Ogolo, the Solicitor General and Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Justice. She was also on ground and she discussed, you know, talking about the building skills in the 21st century. She encouraged women to develop themselves beyond where they are at the moment. And that was what she shared with us here yesterday. And of course, for today, we have amazing, amazing speakers that are lined up that will be speaking to our hearts when we talk about creating change and being the change that we want to see in our society. We also entertained some goodwill messages from different, different structures. Women came here. Adia was on ground. She, Adia Asia was on ground. Of course, we had Adia. Miriam Nasiru also gave a goodwill message. A pastor, Mrs. Alaliba Dagogo Jag, was also on ground. And we also heard from our mommy, Mommy Esther Kumuyi was also on ground. She talked and talked and charged the women to stand up and take up the change mantra. And the icing on the cake was when our father, our visioner, the great leader came on. He shared insights on the role of women that are here. Sisters, using the acronym, you know, he gave us insights on the meaning of a sister and what a sister should stand for. And of course, he gave us an insight on the acronym of a mother and how the woman must continue to retrain, to guide, and be that change that they want to see in the society. That was the lineup of what happened yesterday. And I tell you, we have much more coming for you today. So we want to encourage you to relax, sit tight, come with an open mind. That way you're able to take something back from today's meeting. Zilla. Thank you very much, Blessing Oti. That was wonderful. And I'm sure as many that were here yesterday took something home. You didn't just come here as an spectator, but you took something home. And I believe when you got home, 
you were able to put these things into practice and you came a renewed person tonight to pick another one home. And that is how I am convinced and I know that tonight these beautiful women seated here are very unique and special and they won't go back the same way they have come. If you believe, just, give, just wave your hands. Let me see those beautiful hands. All right, before we get on with introduction, I'd like us to do something. Can we all be upstanding? All the women in this place, be upstanding. Be upstanding. I want us to do something. Watch me closely. It's just an exercise that I want us to take. So we'll do this. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, say hello. hello. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know, do all three. I don't think so. So we're going to repeat it. Are we ready? So if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, say hello. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do all three. Beautiful, thank you so much. Please take your seat. You're amazing, you're amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we'll just uh, hand you over to the studio as they play some music for us. All right, studio, hold on. Taking us further, we want to call on Professor Taiwo for the welcome address. Prof, you're welcome. Please let's put our hands let's together, together, for, her. together for her. As she make her way to the podium. You are welcome to another interesting time. Before we start our welcome address, you know what we normally say? Those of who are here yesterday. What do we normally say? Change what? International. Change maker. International. Driving positive change. This time around, we're going to say the full thing. Change maker. International driving positive change and social impact. I will say it again. Change maker international driving positive change and, and social impact. It's like the grammar is too big. Abby? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Change maker. Driving positive change. Ah, clap for yourself. You are a good student. So I welcome all of you to this wonderful women conference. This is day two for those of us who are not here yesterday. I want to start with our Muslim sisters. Please, wherever you are, can you stand up and wave to us? We want to specially welcome you. Yes, we want to appreciate you, those under the tent. Welcome. Yesterday, they were wonderful. Despite the rain, they were there to really appreciate all that they need to hear. Thank you. And I want to welcome also our wonderful speakers and... Uh, our good women, we all welcome all of you to this program today. Fellow change makers, you are welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, 
It is with immense pleasure and honor that I welcome you all to this conference themed Changemaker International. This gathering of extraordinary women is a testament to the power and potential that reside within you. There is power and potential within you. Can you say there is power and potential within me? You know, as our faces are different, there's something great that God has put in you that is not in me. Despite that I'm a professor, there is something great that God has put in you that you will even outshine me. They say there's something great in me. So that is what we've come to discover. Now, Pastor W.F. Kumi is a servant of the Lord and has been led by the Lord to envision a group called Changemaker International. It is a non-denominational, non-religious movement to drive positive change and social impact that will lead to a solution to all my rights problems facing our homes, families, society, and nation. And we found that most of these problems facing our homes are emanating from the families. And that is why he felt led that there's need for him to call the women. There's need for him to call the women separately. There's need for him to call the men separately. And also call the children, maybe on Sunday, they will gather with us so that they will see the need for a change. And when everyone is transformed, you find that the home is transformed and our society is transformed and our nation is transformed. And so we come together today as pioneer of this maiden conference. This is the first one we are starting it in Port Harcourt. We are innovators and leaders united by a common purpose to drive positive change in our community, our nation, and the world. Your presence here is a clear indication of your commitment to make a difference. The conference is, pla is a platform for us to share our experiences. And that's why we will hear our seasoned mommy who are going to talk to us. And, uh, you know, they are here. They will inspire us. They will let us see the opportunity and the need to connect and learn as a team and grow together. I'm confident that through our collective wisdom, passion, and determination, we emerge from this conference as even more powerful force for change. Now, we will not only be here uh, today, tomorrow, our husbands, they will be here for the Global Men's Conference. Who will be here tomorrow? By 7.30. And so you will tell daddy, please, tomorrow is your own. If you hear it and you change, and daddy is still the way he is, daddy is going to influence the children. You are going to influence the children. And that's why you need to let daddy know that tomorrow is their own day, 7.30 in the morning. Then on Sunday by 4, because the men have two days, the women have two days. Then on Sunday by 4, the men are to be here again for the Global Men's Conference. I hope you know that this program is viewed all over the world. And so that is why it's called Global. And then on Sunday, our children, they will join us here in the morning. It is very, very important because they need the change too. I want to tell you a little story. I had a young brother, very, very rascal. And uh, it was so bad that my father used to curse him in Yoruba language, Olori Oloshi. And sometimes when I go home, I say, Che, this boy, how do we solve the problem of this boy? Now, there was a time Pastor Kumui organized a program for university students. And he was about to enter the university. So I said, no, I will go, leave Port Harcourt, go to Lagos for that program and pick this boy. If this boy grew up like this, by the time my parents are not around, it will be a problem to everybody. So I went home, I told my father, and my father seen the change in my life since I entered the university. Because I'm always going for Pastor Kumuyi's program, he organizes program for university students. So he saw the change in my life, the way I'm going strong in my academics. I graduated with a first class in chemical engineering. So when I told him, Daddy, I am going to, all right. Daddy, I'm going to pick this boy 
for this campus program. And I did. I went home from Port Harcourt, picked this boy, and he attended that program, uh, the university campus program. And before you know it, this boy changed. He, he, he graduated from University of Lagos, first degree, master's. He's taking care of the family. Now my parents are gone. I have peace. And so that is why you need to bring the children on Sunday. And they will also change. And so that is why we ought to be here and enjoy all that is in this program. On Monday, too, we have the Bible study. That one is for the family. Father, mother, children, don't miss it. These teachings have transformed many to professors. And I know you want many distinguished men and women in your family, among your children. And so thank you, and I wish you a fruitful, inspiring conference. Change makers! Change makers! Driving positive change and social impact. Clap for yourself. You are my wonderful students. Thank you. Let's put our hands together for Professor Taiwo. That was a wonderful one from our own professor. I'm sure she has spoken to the hearts of many women here tonight. And of course, do not leave your husbands behind. Tell them to be part of what is happening in Port Harcourt. Because if you hear and daddy does not hear, it will be difficult to implement that change in your home. Am I talking to people? But if that is here, mommy has heard, daddy is here, daddy heard too. It will be very easy. It will be very, very easy to carry out this change. So please, do not leave your husbands, your brothers, your sons behind. As you're going, they should also be going with you. Let's put our hands together as I welcome my own sister, Blessing Oti, to take up from here. All right, once again. We're happy to have you join us on the day two of the Changemakers Global Women Conference happening live right here in the main bowl of the General Yakubu Gowon Stadium, Alakahe River State, Nigeria. We are super, super excited to be hosting beautiful women from all strata of society that have traveled from the length and the breadth of Nigeria to come be part of the change they want to see in their families and of course in the society at large. Once again, put your hands together for yourselves. Thank you. At this point, we'll just get into the recognitions. We have some very distinguished ladies that have come today to learn, to unlearn, and of course, we learn how they can be that change that they want to see in the society. I want to start by recognizing all our Muslim sisters and mothers in the house. If you're here, please can you be upstanding? Let's celebrate them. Be upstanding. All our Muslim sisters, mothers that are here, please be upstanding. Be upstanding. Can we all celebrate them? Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. All right. Having said that, I'd like to make some recognition here. We have in our miss Professor Alice Nte, Professor of Pediatric and Child Health, University of Port Harcourt. She's here. Please make some noise for her. Thank you, Ma. Also with us, we have, we'll be having some special guests. As they arrive, we'll recognize them. 
as they call me. But right now, let me also take the time to also recognize Pastor Andrew Osagi, the state overseer, Deeper Life Bible Church, River State. Thank you so much, sir. Let me also, in the same vein, recognize the presence of Mommy Holy Osagi, the state women coordinator, Deeper Life Bible Church, River State. Thank you very much, Ma. All right, at this time, it waits with great honor and, of course, privilege to recognize also Pastor Mrs. Sam Nelson, the Secretary, PFN Women's Wing, River State. If you're here, please, can we see you? Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming. Also in our midst, we have Hajia, Miriam, Nasiru. She's also here in our midst. We're glad to have you. She joined us yesterday, and she's here today. Thank you very much, Ma. At this point, please permit me to warmly and respectfully recognize the presence of our own mommy, I'm talking about the wife of the general superintendent, Deeper Life, Christian Ministry, Mommy Esther Kumiyi is in the building. Thank you very much, Ma. All right, before we get to the big one, I want to recognize the presence of Daba Benibo here with us, the Vice Chairperson, Nigeria Association of Women Journalists. Daba Benibo is there with us. If you're here, please, can we see you? Thank you very much. And now, to the big one. I am humbled, very humbled, and I want to recognize the convener of the Changemakers International Global Women Conference. I'm talking about our own daddy, the visioner, the reason why women have traveled across the length and breadth of the world to be part of the Changemakers. Please help me celebrate our daddy, pastor, doctor, W. F. Kumuyi. So we're glad to have you, Namis. Thank you very much. We'll continue to do the recognitions as we, our guests come in. I told you uh, some of our guests, um, our speakers are seated already here. Yesterday was awesome. We had an amazing time, you know, trying to learn the role of women in the changing world. We also learned, you know, and we advise that as women, we should take up responsibilities and roles. We should see the change that we want to see in the society to begin with us, to begin with our family. We had good with messages that were mind-blowing. And like I said earlier on, the icing was the charge and the powerful message that came from our father. I took something home, and he said that if you must fail, you have to fail in front. You do not fail what? Behind. You must fail in front. What that simply means is when you fail in front, you have that chance to do what? To move on. But if you fail behind, it's as if you have given up. And we were encouraged not to give up. It doesn't matter what the situation or the challenge may be, but we can be that solution that we want to see in our lives, in our families, and of course, in the society at large. Once again, at this point, I want to recognize one of our speakers, 
I saw her walking uh, majestically. Please celebrate Pastor Barrister Bibian Uchenda Okobule. Of course, she is the wife of the Vice Chancellor of River State University, Director Legal River State University, and the fourth president chapter of Port Harcourt Rotary Club. Barrister, we're glad to have you in our midst. Thank you very much. Okay, at this point, I want to bring up the lady who sung has transversed also the length and breadth of our country, Nigeria. I'm talking about the person you know. She is Mommy Choma Jesus. Let's make some noise for her. Please celebrate her until she gets here. Thank you. Celebrate you, sir. Help me and celebrate our mother. Mama, I celebrate you. All the women of great nature, I celebrate you all. Shoma has come to bring a great change in our life and in our nations. Mm. If you know that you are a carrier of change, can you jump and make some noise for Jesus? Oh. for 
forsaken. Yes. Okay, more will never forsake you. Baba God, we never leave you alone. You can never fail me, Lord. Jehovah hey. Jireh, you can never fail me, Lord.
taking us further, we want to call on our first speaker for tonight. We want to call on Professor Alice Romokekente. And she will be taking us on the making of an all-round successful woman. Please put your hands together for her. But before she takes up the stage, we have a brief citation of her. Zila? Thank you very much. Citation of Professor Mrs. Alice Romoke Nte, Ni Dr. Alice Bertram Ikuru, a guest speaker at the Global Women Conference by the Change Makers International. Present appointment, Professor Pediatrics and Child Health, Department of Pediatrics and Child Health, Faculty of Clinical Sciences, College of Health Sciences, University of Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria, and Honorary Consultant Perdition, Department of Pediatrics, University of Port Harcourt Teaching Hospital. Alice Inte graduated with a Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery degree of the University of Ibadan with distinction in anatomy in 1984. And the surgery degree of University of Ibadan with, I beg your pardon, and the fellowship of the West African College of Physicians, April 1993. Doctor of Medicine, of the National Postgraduate Medical College, June 2023. She has been trained in many courses for additional skills, such as breastfeeding and lactation management, all components of integrated management of childhood illness course, emergency trade and assessment, and many more. Employed as lecturer one at the University of Port Harcourt in December 1993. She became a professor of pediatrics and child health in October 2007 and delivered her inaugural lecture titled Child Survival in, Resource, in Resource, uh, Resources Limited Settings, The Issues, Challenges, and Way Forward at the University of Port Harcourt on the 12th of August, 2012. At the University of Port Harcourt, she served as a coordinator slash acting head of department, acting director slash director, Institute of Maternal and Child Health, and director of the Center for Research Management and Center for Research Management and Development member of the University of Port Harcourt Governing Council, and member slash chairman, management board, and some prof professoral chairs. She contributed to the development of pediatric services at the Obio Cottage Hospital, and served as a dean at the Pamo University of Medical Sciences during her sabbatical services from the university. At the University of Port Harcourt Teaching Hospital, she served as the head of department and has remained an active clini clinician contributing to the training of undergraduates and postgraduate medical workforce with some of her mentees and trainees being professors and vice chancellors. She has been a member and coordinator of the Baby Friendly Hospital oh. Initiative Committee. And through this committee, she opened a crutch, the mother's room, and nutrition clinic for promotion, protection, and support of optimal breastfeeding and infant young child. Professor Alice has contributed to community health through her advocacy to various stakeholders, development of policy and training materials, including to 2022 National Child Health Policy, the Maternal, Infants, and Young Child Nutrition Training Documents, 
the National Baby Friendly Initiative Guidelines. The River State...